So we start off with the Aachentaschen American Oak. Yes, this is a quite a new one. And uh, so today I having the lead in, in tasting or, or in, in, in talking because I was there two or three times already and you've never been there. So this, is, this time it's talking for me. And the uh, American Oak is a successor to the old, I think it was called Select or something like that, uh, which is a whiskey without an age statement. But this one got uh, a better cask selection because it's uh, a lot of uh, fresh American white oak casks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here we go. I hope you had been able to uh, get your fingers on some of these whiskies. I think they promote this one with uh, first fill bourbon barrels, mm -hmm. but it's uh, pure first fill, first fill bourbon barrels. But still, it's an it's an entry level um, whiskey, and an Ochentaschen I would actually recommend to uh, a straight, yeah, a beginner. The like the first your first time whiskey an Ochentaschen is the right choice. Um, because it's the Ochentoschen has has a, a threefold distillation with three stills, and this leads to an, an uh, a raw whiskey with an ABV of eighty, so one hundred and sixty proof, and this uh, eighty ABV leads to very smooth and and uh, not burning alcohol in the whiskey, mm -hmm. and uh, therefore you also do not see. Uh, the young age of a whiskey, because this rough metallic note of a fresh whiskey isn't there mm -hmm. if you distill it very high. So mm -hmm. there's no problem to have no age statement on it. So this is a fresh, young whiskey showing mm -hmm. vanilla, coconut, mm -hmm. which are the main uh, aromas from uh, American white oak, fresh American white oak bourbon mm -hmm. barrels. And behind that is citrus fruit, which is very typical for mm. uh, younger whiskies. And uh, so you have this fresh, probably a little zesty citrus note together with the vanilla and the coconut. And this is a light and, yeah, Gentle start. Yeah, it, it is definitely a, a light and gentle whiskey. It's uh, it's a fresh one. It's uh, definitely has that slight bourbon style with vanilla, a bit of caramel. But from my point of view, it's very fresh and fruity. Fresh fruits like coconut, mm -hmm. citrus, as you mentioned. Definitely. Is coconut a, a fruit or a nut? It's a fruit, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's a nut, but I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. So, and uh, if you sm uh, nose a little longer mm -hmm. on that, uh, mm -hmm. you find some, some peaches probably. Yeah. Yeah. 40% ABV. Neat. Mm. Mm. Really, it shows some impact. The little white pepper in it. So mm. Definitely not expected. No, mm -hmm. not really. Mm. Mm. It's got more punch in the in the taste than yeah. it has in the mm -hmm. mouth. It is um, not a very mature whiskey, but it's a fresh one. It's a light one. It's a pleasant one. You don't have that alcoholic burn. It's it's smooth, not smooth, but it's light. <coughs> oh, light and <laughs> and nice and sweet also good amount of sweetness so from my point of view hmm, definitely a, a beginner's whiskey um, we have to or, or, or I, I have to add that there is some aftertaste yeah the, in it the taste is quite intense quite I, intense and, and for a, the an oaky note in the, the oaky note yeah, yeah definitely so the definitely fresh American white oak yeah, 
Just got here, American oak, question mark. Yes, American oak. <laughs> so typically this... We start with the American oak. Yeah. Uh, typically, uh, this American white oak should be more gentle, not mm -hmm. that spicy. It shows a little bit of... A little of, bit of, of coffee or... or punch or, yeah. and, and oak, definitely. Mm -hmm. It got a cast character, but I don't find it uh, to be a... There's no bitterness at all. There's, you could imagine a bit of bitterness in, in the very in the end, aftertaste, in the aftertaste, in the very end. But yeah. still, I'm 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 staying with my my verdict: perfect, perfect beginner's whiskey or kind of a yeah. If you look at the blended, a chill out dram. If you look at the uh, blended whiskies, they typically have this uh, light oaky note in the aftertaste, so mm -hmm. they are used to it. Thank you very much, and see you next time.